Hello, my name is Jeff Phillips from Sound Marketing and welcome to my home audio video laboratory. I've got here on the table quite a number of pieces here. I've got a netbook, I've got a monitor, wireless router, uh, Cisco uh, managed switch, I've got some uh, SVSI uh, encoders and decoders from AMX. I've also got a Blue 103 processor uh, from BSS. What I'm going to show you today is uh, how I've got all this stuff cooperating together to make a uh, fairly cost-efficient and, uh, and high-performing uh, audio and video system. Over here on my desk I've got, well actually a couple Macintoshes, but here's the Macintosh that we'll be using. Um, and right now it's running um, Audio Architect. I've also got up here another uh, another monitor that we can uh, see the effects of the switching on. On the table, um, I've got a um, a wall encoder and I've got a decoder box which is driving the screen I just showed you. Um, now, normally you would think that uh, to control such a system we would need you know an AMX touchscreen such as the uh, MVP 5150 here. Uh, what I want to show you is it could be a lot simpler than that. Now one easy method of control is to use um, the SVSI panel builder to make yourself some custom um, panels, virtual panels, etc. They can be loaded onto a touch screen, they can be loaded on a wall controller, um, they can be served up to um, portable devices if they're on the same wireless network. Um, and that works very well. Uh, let me show you here. If I can take this panel and press save, it'll give me a link to, to say, hey, here's your project, launch the panel. Now the panel that I had uh, created is here. And I can you can see above the instantaneousness of the uh, switching between the screens. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. But there's something else. Uh, because we can send commands uh, to the SVSI system from any other controller, we might as well use the um, Audio Architect. Audio Architect has the ability to send commands via IP. Right, let me get on the screen a little bit better here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to back up and show you a little bit of the screen, too. Uh, and I've got uh, four buttons matched here that, uh, that hit logic. And I'm doing it the hard way. I'm actually managing TCP IP connection so as to handshake with the device and make absolutely sure that I know that uh, my, my message to change screens has gotten across. So here you can see in the screen above um, that I, I press the take button and it, uh, it takes immediately. Take. Takes the other one. And what's happening behind the scenes, uh, who cares? Uh, it's, it's actually a logic circuit that looks like that but um, that's, uh, that's easy to replicate, not a big deal. Okay, so now, bonus round. Let's swing back over here, and I'll show you another way to control um, your video switching, and that's via the controllers from, uh, from, um, from Contrio, uh, the uh, BSS Contrio series of controllers. This is a uh, EC4BV, which means it has four buttons and a, and a volume knob. Um, and I have it in this case, the, uh, the four buttons here correspond to uh, the same four buttons I was using over there to, uh, to show you video switching. So and if I move this over here and show you this screen, I think we could press a button here. And yep, there the switch is at two. Anyone who has dealt with Audio Architect knows that any control you, you can create in Audio Architect, you can also map to the iPad, iPhone via HiQnet motion control, which is a app that you can download. Now um, that means that we can probably control video. Let's see, can we switch video from the iPad? Why well, yes, there it goes. So think of it. You you're a bar owner or you're a an, an operator of a um, of a contemporary church. Um, and you want to switch your video along with your audio, you want an I iPad to do it from, um, this could be a very effective uh, solution for you. 
All right, now think about this. You can, you can use a, a full-blown touch screen like the one I have on my table over there. You can use a, um, uh, a, some sort of embedded control. You can automate this using um, BSS uh, Audio Architect. You can add these sort of controls. You can have virtual controls via uh, a screen served up via HTML5. You can control it from your portable device. Uh, you've got everything. You've got every means of controlling how your video gets switched. Oh, by the way, uh, the SVSI system can reach out and control this Blue 103 here or any other uh, processors from BSS. You can use the um, uh, the panel builder to uh, actually, and I've done this, uh, to control um, audio levels up and down, mutes, preset recalls, everything. So hopefully what you've seen is a whole bunch of new possibilities in terms of control over your audio and video system with gear that is completely flexible, completely expandable, incrementally expandable, and not very expensive. Um, I think we've got some, uh, some winning possibilities here.